Hello guys and gals and welcome uh, to another episode of Unique Items. If you can't tell by the uh, blue color of my character, I am going to be talking about a very specific armor known as Tyrael's Might. Tyrael's Might is kind of a extremely misunderstood armor. It is also extremely rare and hard to come by due to the fact that uh, it shares a spawn with another armor. And... Um, it is very pretty, though, but of course you can get the same look from a, uh, a Millibregas. <laughs> now, um, Tyrael's uh, Might does have some very interesting effects, and it is a Sacred Armor. Now, Sacred Armor normally has a strength requirement of 232. Um, however, Tyrael's Might has a modifier on it that removes all requirements by 100%, which is pretty darn amazing. So, think about it like this. Tyrael's Might can be used by literally anybody. And uh, and if you were to go with a very low-strength build, Tyrael's Might could be the armor that you might choose. Um, it really only has a place in a very extremely low-strength build. Um, so let's go over the statistics here. So we've got 1,502 defense, which is relatively high. Um, it's indestructible, which means it cannot spawn Ethereal. We have a 20% faster run-walk, which is always nice to have. We've got 100% damage to demons. Now, this does vary between 50 to 100%, um, and it's not really a huge boost to damage because it works very similarly to the way that Might does. But, uh, but it is nice to have nonetheless if you are a physical damage monster or character. <laughs> monster. Um, the physical damage is the only thing that this will beef up. So if you're like a Vengeance Paladin or a Sorceress or something like that, it's not going to help you out. Um, we also have Slain Monsters Rest in Peace. Now, Slain Monsters Rest in Peace is a very interesting mechanic. Um, what it does is whenever a monster dies, the monster will not get back up. Um, so if, for instance, you kill a, uh, a Fallen and the Shaman tries to resurrect it, it will not be resurrected. Um, if a necromancer tries to use corpse explosion on the body, it will not work. Um, if a barbarian goes up to the body and tries to use find item, it will not work. Um, the very interesting thing about slain monsters rest in peace is that it is a double-edged sword. When used against monsters, it is very, very effective because it helps prevent those monsters from getting back up. Uh, and there are a lot of monsters that will either get back up or become resurrected. Um, Haradrim can resurrect all undead, which means that any undead that you kill with this particular armor on will stay dead. Um, there is another item in the game that is very similar to this, and that is the ring that shares the monster rest in peace effect. Um, and that is, uh, was it nature's peace, I believe? Um, there are some other items in the game that have the effect, but uh, but those two are the, the, the Tyrael's Might and the nature's peace, I think, are, uh, are some of the more common ones. Um, I believe Lawbringer has uh, monster's rest in peace, and I think that's it. I think it's just Lawbringer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Lawbringer, Nature's Peace, and Tyrael's Might. So only three items. So um, on one side, it's going to help you a lot. So if you do not use Corpse Explosion, uh, Redemption, um, Find Item, uh, the various skills that utilize corpses, you will have a very good time with Tyrael's Might. Um, but putting a Tyrael's Might on a Necromancer, probably not a good idea. Putting a Tyrael's Might on a Barbarian that's trying to find items, not a good idea. Putting a uh, Tyrael's Might on a Paladin who's trying to utilize Redemption, not a good idea. Um, you know, it just in general, Slain Monsters Rest in Peace has its uses, but not always. Um, say, for instance, I'm using this on the correct character, but um, I enter a game and there's two or three necromancers there. I probably wouldn't want to keep the armor on because that would just be extremely impolite to the necromancers, or maybe I do want to keep the armor on just so that I control. Whatever the case may be, you see how it can be an issue um, having the Slain Monsters Rest in Peace mechanic. Uh, we also have a uh, enhanced defense, which uh, also varies. So it varies from 120 to 150%, um, which isn't really too big of a deal. Uh, the defense on this is pretty nice anyway. Um, I think the lowest it can possibly go is like 1,300 and something, uh, which, is, uh, which is not bad. Um, so not only does this have negative 100% requirements and requires zero strength to wear, it also gives you 30 strength. 
So this is another interesting thing about the Ethereal's Might. So it literally will beef up your strength uh, while also requiring none. So if you were, for instance, a sorceress who put in zero points into strength, you could utilize Ethereal's Might and gain 30 strength for your trouble, uh, which I believe, what does a sorcerer start out like 15 or something, or is it 10? So you would end up with 40, uh, which is which is relatively uh, low, but, uh, but 40 is definitely a lot better than 10. We also have cannot be frozen on here, which is a very, very nice mechanic to have, and of course can free up another slot. So let's look at the two mechanics here. We've got slain monsters, rest in peace, and we've got, uh, got cannot be frozen. These two effects, can free up other pieces of equipment. So you wouldn't have to wear a nature's piece on your hand, or you wouldn't have to wear a lawbringer in your hand. Um, you also don't have uh, don't have to worry about cannot be frozen. So you wouldn't have to wear a uh, Kira's Guardian, or a Raven Frost, or, um, or cham up a helmet. Um, you know, whatever it may be, you can free up that slot as well. So we've got, uh, we've got several things here. It's freeing up strength for vitality it's freeing up a cannot be frozen slot it's freeing up a slain monster rest and peace slot um, which is uh, which is kind of nice it also makes us run faster which certainly isn't bad and then to top it all off it also gives us all resistances 30 which is not like super duper amazing but it's it's still kind of nice to have the all resistances 30. and of course we can uh, we can beef that up even more with something like a uh, umrune for another 15 so we can go to 45 or we could throw something else in there like for instance um let's see what i got laying around here we could put a uh, a burr root in there for eight percent damage reduction which wouldn't be terrible um or we could throw in a I know there's one other rune in here that I would probably like to uh, put in there. And I can't remember which one it is. You know, it's funny. Um, normally when an item is indestructible, you definitely don't put a Zod in there. But you also definitely don't put a Hell Rune in there because this has already has negative 100% requirements. So we've already literally got a, both a Zod and max Hell Runes on this item, um, which is kind of funny. Of course, you can also put this armor on a mercenary, and the mercenary can benefit from the cannot be frozen, the all resistances, the uh, slain monsters rest in peace, and so on and so forth. Which is uh, which is actually not bad for a mercenary, and the plus thirty strength can actually give him enough strength to put on um, some pieces of equipment. Uh, like for instance, uh, say you have um, created a insight colossus vault, which requires two hundred strength, and you don't have enough strength to uh, to allow the you know your your merc to wear the item. Thirty bonus to strength. Or is a, is, a, is a pretty decent amount, and um, and you can definitely uh, utilize that to help equip that item. Um, I also forgot to mention that the uh, 30 strength and the 30 resistances do vary by 10 points each. So uh, 20 to 30 on the strength and 20 to 30 on the all resistances, which uh, which isn't too big of a variance, but um, you know it's not like you're going to find a whole bunch of these and be like, oh well, I don't want that one, and just throw that one away, and then find another one, and then go, oh, I don't, I don't really want that one, and throw that one away. Because honestly, you're probably only going to find one of these. It's such a rare item that um, that you're just really not going to come by it very often. And um, I feel like that's probably the next thing that we need to talk about. So Tyriel's Might on the treasure class list is, uh, is a sacred armor. And uh, sacred armor is already in the TC87 list. Which means that, um, that it's already only going to drop from TC87 areas. Tyriel's Might and T Templar's Might, which are the two armors that um, can spawn unique from the Sacred Armor, have a Q level of 87 for Tyriel's Might and 82 for Templar's Might. So what happens is, is when a unique Sacred Armor drops, there is every chance that um, it can be the Templar's Might, which is the inferior version um, of the Tyriel's Might. And that is the reason why Tyriel's Might tends to be so ridiculously rare, is that not only can Tyriel's Might only drop from the highest level monsters in the game, it also has a lower level uh, you know, counterpart, which can drop from much lower level monsters. So, you know, say if you were in a, um, a, a lower level zone, like a level 83 zone, um, well, sorry, level 85 zone, and you killed a level 85 monster, not a level 87 monster, which are the elites, um, and a sacred armor dropped from a regular monster, 
there's no chance that that could particularly be a Tyrael's Might, because it's too that monster is too low. So if a unique Sacred Armor drops from a regular level 85 monster, it's almost always going to be a Templar's Might. And so the Tyrael's Might tends to be, um, you know, not dropped. And even when the Tyrael's Might has a chance to drop, there's still a chance it can be the Templar's Might instead, which is part of the reason why it's so incredibly rare. Now, the very silly thing about this is that it's not really good enough to be this rare. Like, I feel like if it was, uh, if they had increased the stats a little bit and made it a little bit better, um, people might seek it out more. But as it is right now, Tyrael's might end up being a meme. It's so incredibly rare and it's such a high level and it doesn't really have the most amazing stats that people look at it and they go, well... Why not just use like a burial shell instead that it cannot be frozen or or why not just use a um a nature's peace for slain monsters rested peace or or why not just um, you know use like a smoke for all resistances um the Tyrael's might just doesn't really seem to offer enough to make people want to use it and that's really the, what it comes down to and um it's quite sad. Um, it is a very fetching armor, though. Like, I'd like you guys to see this, that it is, uh, it is an extremely pretty armor. And, uh, and at the very least, from at least that standpoint, when you look at it on this screen, it really is quite fetching. Um, and it's quite fetching on just about any character that puts it on, to be honest. Um, even, like, necromancers and stuff like that. But, uh, but you wouldn't want to put it on necromancer because of the slain monsters rest in peace. But still. And, um... I feel like if I had a Tyrael's Might, I would probably wear it just to look, just for the looks, because I really like the way that the blue sacred armor looks, and um, it might find a place like a permanent home on one of my uh, one of my mercenaries. Um, probably not my necromancer's mercenary, uh, but uh, you know, all in all, it's just kind of sad that the uh, Tyrael's Might wasn't made just a little bit better, so it could have been viable. And then um, what really kind of pushed it over the edge was all the Rune Words, because when the Rune Words came out, and the Rune Words were so much better than Tyrael's Might, um, you know, it didn't matter that Tyrael's Might was much more rare than a Jaw Rune. Um, you're probably not going to be able to get a Jaw Rune for a Tyrael's Might, because um, it just doesn't have the amount of uses that, uh, that it should. Anyway, if you do have one, I'd like to have one just to uh, just to play around with. I uh, I actually had this idea one time of a zero strength character uh, built around Tyrael's might, and I don't know how it would specifically work, but um, but it, you know I like to build characters around items, and so so uh, you know Tyrael's might is one of those interesting ones that um, that could be fun to build a character around just for the laughs. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.